Well, in today's Living a Better Life, we're sending you coffee clinks. Did you know that March is Caffeine Awareness Month? And we posted the story on our Channel 7 Facebook page this morning to see what you had to say. And we're getting a lot of fun feedback. Julian Ross posted, that's a big zat fat zero for me when it comes to number of coffee cups. And also Kelly Chudnicki says, two to three cups a day. Rick Gardner, I drink coffee and tea all day long, probably 10 cups of coffee. I've been drinking coffee since my late teens, 50 years ago. You can see these comments range from none to a ton. A lot of early risers, of course, love coffee. So I took a look at how much is too much. <laughs> Medium Sumatra. It's a packed morning rush at the roasting plant in downtown Detroit where diehard coffee lovers get their caffeine fix. I drink one cup of coffee a day, so but this one is a large, so it's 20 ounces, I think. Oh gosh, I hate to admit it, you know, eight-ish or so. I say I'd probably drink about 10 cups a day. What? Yeah, at least 10. <laughs> How much coffee do you drink a day? Uh probably like four cups of coffee or thermoses of coffee. Yeah. Four thermoses? Yeah, well, I mean, it's like 12 wow. ounces. So how much is too much? Four cups, according to the Mayo Clinic, that's about 400 milligrams of caffeine. That's roughly the same amount you'd find in 10 cans of pop or two energy shot drinks. The Mayo Clinic says drinking more than that can cause a number of bad side effects, such as migraine headaches, insomnia, nervousness, irritability, restlessness, upset stomach, muscle tremors, and more. That's good to know. I'm, I've always said I should try to cut back. Maybe this is me being told now's the time. So that's about four cups, so you're within the range. Woo, win. <laughs> For those of you who are throwing back more than four cups a day and experiencing any adverse symptoms, you might want to put a lid on your daily caffeine consumption. The Mayo Clinic says that caffeine is not recommended for kids, women who are pregnant or trying to become pregnant, or people who are taking certain medications like ephedrine, echinacea, or medicines that open up your bronchial airways. But most often, caffeine does not pose a health problem as long as you're mindful about your daily caffeine habit. I'm about two to four cups right now. Everything I think is good in, in moderation.